welcome. Do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Exclusive. Yeah, this is what is coming through as it is a, as a breaking news and uh, now they kind of is frustrated. Uh, contemplate uh, firing a uh, lawyer's uh, uh, details uh, in full, as it is, I would say, uh, the detained leader of the outlawed uh, indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Namdekanu, is considering uh, overhauling his uh, legal team. Uh, that is a is coming from politics and Nigeria reports. Uh, there is an uh, infighting uh, within the legal team, and Kanu is uh, dissatisfied uh, with the factions uh, contending to represent him and uh, IPOB. Uh, the separatist uh, leader is accused of uh, terrorism and has been in the custody of the Department of State Services, uh, DSS, uh, since June 2021. Uh, this newspaper can uh, confidently report that uh, the conflict and relevance battle is uh, reportedly between Barrister Ifan Ejofo and uh, Barrister Aloy Ejimako. Uh, Kanu's uh, brother, Kinsley uh, Kanunta, uh, Kanu is uh, siding with uh, Ejimako Earlier, following uh, Ijofo's uh, misunderstanding with uh, Bruce Fenn, uh, Kanu's American attorney, uh, the international lawyer was excluded from on-the-ground legal activities in Nigeria. Furthermore, it was gathered that uh, Kanu expressed the frustration at his uh, dwindling uh, popularity as the uh, seat at home exercise held every Monday in the southeastern part of the country uh, to protest his detention. Now, uh, it was fast uh, losing relevance uh, and uh, compliance. Uh, that is, uh, the seat at who I could remember uh, Tinumbu, you know, uh, who violated the uh, law or rule or uh, the agreement between the Igbos, uh, the five eastern states. So I know everybody, or uh, uh, my, my viewers and uh, my listeners understand uh, that part. But notwithstanding, to continue, some of these people are fighting for superiority fame and money and not that they can do the job better than expected not that they can do the job better than what has been done while others are merely using ipop's name and cannot to fleece people who have been uh, donating towards his cause he is seriously worried to the point of accusing uh, some of these uh, people of working for uh, pecuniary uh, interest and not indigenous people of Biafra, and he is uh, contemplating uh, of firing some of them, a close source to the, the press. Now, recently the Court of Appeal in Abuja struck out the terrorism charges uh, fired against a uh, canon by the Nigerian government and uh, all that is released from the custody of the Department of State Services, SSS, uh, DSS. Uh, the court said the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB leader, uh, was extraordinarily uh, renditioned to Nigeria and uh, that the action was a flagrant uh, violation of the country's uh, tradition treaty and also a breach of its fundamental human uh, rights. About Nigeria's Attorney General and Minister for Justice, Abubakar Malami, argued that the court only discharged the Kano and did not acquit him. Wow. Now, the question goes to Malami himself. Uh, he says he's the Attorney General of the Federation. And uh, even Nam Kano has been dis discharged, fine. Now you allow him to go home, and uh, until court uh, laid verdict, uh, being acquitted, uh, then uh, uh, you can, you know, you know, uh, parlor him with entourage. Uh, you can, you can, you can do whatever you want to do if he does not, you know, assemble himself in court. Now in 2017, they said uh, Namdekanu jumped a uh, bail. Uh, so the jumping bail uh, was that he refused to come to the court hearing the day of the court or the day uh, whereby he's supposed to come you know uh, for the suit but notwithstanding and i'm the kind of jump bail not because he wanted to jump bail a uh, jump bail but he jumped the bail because he eloped uh, you know back to the united kingdom just because uh, the federal government and the administration of uh buari you know wanted to kill him you understand because they said they were unknown soldiers you know carrying a known gun and and a known bullet those bullets and guns were for the military or for the uh, force, you know, uh, department of force parastatus, uh, parastatus. Who wants to kill Kanu just because he's saying the truth? But notwithstanding, Kanu might have said something that might annoy, you know, the government or the uh, dispensation or the administration of uh, President Muhammadu Buhari because he has not really done well. So Nigerians now know better. They believe that uh, what is good for the Ganda 
It's good for the goose. And what is good for the goose is good for the gander. And uh, a man with God is majority. And justice for one should be justice for all. So there shouldn't be sentiment. And now that Maulami is saying if uh, an American was acquitted, it's a better thing. But he was discharged. Now, the English word discharge. If you discharge somebody, then you free that person. Then acquitted and you know towards the court times, I would say cool. It's cool that uh, Namdi Kanu was discharged. Now acquitted. Because the earlier report, I would say for, for, for almost a, a week or two now, we heard that Namdi Kanu has been discharged. Namdi Kanu has been acquitted. And uh, later on, they said uh, the, the three justices that sat and gave verdict uh, during uh, Namdi Kanu's uh, hearing and the verdict and the final submission, they were being transferred you know, from Abuja to wherever god knows now they are giving us another narrative that he wasn't acquitted though where was abu Bakr malami the attorney general for the federation where was he when all this uh, rogue was going on you understand when all this chaos where when all this argument was going on where was he he would have you know said his own and he was he would have you know told us that no as the attorney general of the federation as the minister of for justice uh, yes he has not agreed now the question is that uh, who is the president? Who is ruling us? Who is uh, Abu Bakr Malami? Then what role is uh, Buhari playing? That's a question for us to puzzle. But in other words, I would say uh, Buhari is representing uh, Nigeria as a republic, is representing as the uh, president. But the Attorney General of the Federation, Minister for Justice, Abu Bakr Malami is his name. Is he wants, you know, you know, seeing through the affairs of the economy. Now, who is the president of the country? Because Malami, uh, until Malami, you know, says anything before we can have a judgment or because before our submission can be taken. Now, Malami is saying that uh, he argued that uh, the court only discharged Kanu and did not acquit him. Oh my God, my people, please. I don't know how we're going to do this. I, I don't know how uh, we're going to help ourselves. Apart from, you know, let's assume God will help us, fine. I just put that aside. Now, on our own, uh, in our own end, yeah, how do we assist ourselves? You know, because the youth tried so many ways to do that until when they, you know, came, you know, came through and, you know, you know, come with the obliged to protest. Now, the protest, you know, came through. At the long run, it was messy. You understand? Because the narrative was that, there are unknown soldiers that came in to come and stop the uh, violence, uh, you know, being, you know, disseminated by the Nigerian youth. And at the long run, they were wearing a uh, military uniform, unknown government, I mean, wearing military uniform, unknown government carrying military bullet or carrying military ammunition, carrying military uh, gun, you know, shooting military bullet, you know, undespeakably. That is so very, very appalling. Now, Nigeria, who is the president? Who is uh, the Attorney General of the Federation? Because I need to, all, I need also pause with this because it's getting tiring. It's so very, very tiring. But no time for us to pause this and no time for us to, you know, deliberate more on this because this way I'm going to draw the curtain and I would like you to share your views. In the comment section, let's see what is really happening to Namdekano's case because Nigeria has been said to be a contraption.